Hey Freebs Nation, it's Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com and ProductivityBootCamp.com. Today, let's get productive, productive, let's get productive. We're gonna save you some time. But for me, summer was amazing. So fun, loads of things that we did, but Mama Jay's a little rusty when it comes to being productive, having a routine, and having any form of clean house or structure or getting anything done ever. So here's what we're gonna do. Today, I'm gonna teach you not one, but two of my super top secret, best sauce on the planet, better than chocolate, productivity tips for getting you back on track and getting a lot done with a very little amount of effort. What do you think? You wanna learn? Let's do this. I don't know about you, but I tend to have spaces in my house that get a little unruly, out of control, totally ridiculous and kind of embarrassing. It happens, right? But sometimes it can be daunting to think of cleaning a giant space at once. Like a laundry room, for example, that looks like this. As daunting as it can be to clean a room like this, I have a little trick on how to tackle it. Let me take you in and show you exactly how I do it. When you are faced with a mess of this size, a lot of times in our minds, we think to ourselves, I need to clean the laundry room, the garage, or whatever it is. And as it happens, it's such a big job, it can be so overwhelming that we will usually shut the door and ignore it for a later day. Instead of thinking about a task as a big elephant, my first principle I wanna teach you today is to break it down into a job or just one bite. Have you ever heard the saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So here's what you would do for a space like this. Instead of saying, oh, I need to clean the laundry room, you would break it down into a job. And maybe that one bite would be a single basket. Or maybe it would be a single drawer. Maybe it would be emptying one bin or one box. What you do is you sign yourself just one bite at a time, one job at a time. You do it till it's done. You don't even have to set a time limit to it. And then you move to the next bite and the next and the next. And the next thing you know, it's all clean and it's all done and way less overwhelmed than trying to process it all in one shot. I'm just gonna shut that because I can't even handle it. Or in a pantry, maybe instead of the whole pantry, it's just one shelf at a time or even one basket at a time. Or it could be one cubby at a time or within the cubby, one basket or one bin at a time instead of the whole dang mud room. The second productivity principle I wanna teach you and one of my favorites of all time is what I call the microwave principle. Basically, it's the concept that as you go throughout your day, instead of trying to find these magical hours to be productive, that let's be honest, who's got just an hour of nothing to do? Rarely happens. Instead, you look for how much you can get done in 60 seconds or less. What? I know, crazy, right? It's true. Think about it. When you open your microwave and put in food to heat it up, close the microwave and push start, normally you just kind of sit around and wait for it. Instead of that, let's see how much you can get done in 60 seconds and you will be amazed at how much you can accomplish. Let me show you just a few of the things that you could try.
done in 60 seconds. Oh my gosh, if you've got a full dinner plate that takes two, two and a half minutes, glory me, you can clean your entire house in that time, I bet. Well, maybe not all the way, but you know, pretty, just try it. Just go, go with it. So I challenge you, I want you to try it. Let's see what you can do in 60 seconds or less in your house. See, didn't I tell you that was easy? Those are just two of my favorite principles that are taught in my productivity program, productivitybootcamp.com. Don't forget, you can use the code YouTube for 10% off if you want hours and hours of way more ideas just like that. So what do you think? Are you gonna try a job? Are you gonna try the microwave principle? Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know in the comments below. I'm dying to know if you love it as much as I do. Be sure to subscribe. I've got new videos every Thursday that I'm really ramping up this time of year. You guys, I think I gotta cut it. I've got lots of jobs to do. I'm gonna get on it. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next Thursday. To get us productive, <laughs> to get us productive, organized, oh my god. <laughs> I know, it's just, it's just so funny because it seriously sounds like I'm